Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler, and it's become obvious to me that I'm far too heavily invested into this sticker design challenge, which, I, you know, it's funny to me that, you know, they can't call it a competition, right? I think that's what's a challenge. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm far too heavily invested in this thing. Uh, I've been watching this thing like a hawk uh, for the last week or so. Um, and uh, so when I get into those kind of situations, the only thing I found that works for me is to just double down on it, right? So, so we're going to be talking about this uh, sticker design challenge today. Um, I'm going to be going through and ranking and rating and voting for um, the stickers that I like. Um, and I'm not, I'm trying not to be too critical. And, and these are just my opinions. Yeah, everybody has their own personal preferences for stickers. Um, I think it's unfortunate. Um, there's a few unfortunate things just get out of the way at first with the sticker challenge is that one, they, they took the rules down, um, which I'm not sure why they did that. Um, but I think I'm the only one that actually followed all of the rules um, on this because they had a, then the rules were important because there there was a rule that you know you couldn't use anything that was trademarked, um, either Microsoft or anyone else, right? So no, you know, imaging you can't use like the fabric logo and things like that. That you know, and all of that sort of stuff, which a lot of people did. Um, and they use the Microsoft logo and things like that. Um, then you were supposed to also, you're supposed to upload a PDF of your um, sticker. Um, and then in certain ways to read the rules, you're supposed to upload the ping as an attachment as well. Um, so I don't know why they took those things, but I'm going to be, you know, sticking to the rules on this. Um, so probably, probably won't vote for stickers that, for example, use like the fabric logo or, you know, didn't follow the rule as far as that stuff goes. Um, the thing I don't like about how they set this up is that when you submitted your sticker, um, you actually had to pick a category. There were four categories um, that you know you could uh, um, submit under, and they don't. There's no they, that doesn't seem to have followed anything. So, for example, if I go to my entry here, like there's my PDF that I uploaded and the the ping file that I uploaded, um, but it doesn't tell me like what like what category that this is is and that'd be nice to know right that'd be nice to like review them based upon the categories uh, or see how many you know how many were submitted to which categories and that sort of thing um but i don't for whatever reason they don't have that um information the other thing is that i tried to web scrape this using the same kind of techniques i use for like the quick measures and issues and all of that sort of stuff and it's, it's just it's impossible to web scrape it um so i found that was kind of disappointing because i wanted to kind of say um, you'll see people's names like repeated it pretty often. And wow, this is really taking forever. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's get into it. Um, and my criteria for ranking the, I mean, we're going to go with uh, the new entries uh, and go, so basically newest to oldest. Um, and my criteria for ranking is one, if I like it, right? Um, two, you know, and I like simpler uh, sticker designs. Um, versus, you know, some of the some of the stickers, you know, they get into really complex, intricate kind of stuff. Um, I'm not so much a fan of those. I think it should be somehow related to the fabric, since it is a fabric community sticker. There should be some kind of tie-in um, to the fab to fabric. Um, and well, we'll get into maybe some. And I and I'm probably going to favor things that I feel are not ai generated not, not that i'm going to rule out ai generated um but there's bad ai generated and then there you know then there's okay ai generated i think um so anyway we'll get into the rest of you know my criteria or whatever but you know don't be offended if i don't vote for your sticker uh we all have our preferences and so there you go all right so this one right off the bat um lots of trademark logos right that is definitely trademark trademark i have no idea what that is I, yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, but lots of trademark stuff. Um, so I don't see how that one makes it through. Uh, relationship status, single taken data analyst. Um, not sure why they just didn't, isn't taken the new married. Like you're not allowed to say married anymore. But I thought everybody can get married now. So I don't know. Um, well, anyway, data artist. Okay, like I guess I'm not sure what is that a logo? Is that part of the is that the thread of the fabric? I don't know. Uh error 404, sleep not found. I like that one. That's simple. Um easy enough. 
Sev two is, is Verity two. Snooze. I don't know what I don't know what that one that's trying to tell me. I have no idea how that ties into fabric. Um, many many time for a remedy. Is what does he have in his hand? Is it a magnifying glass? I don't know. Uh, it has a lot of votes, uh, but I'm just it doesn't do it for me. I don't know why. Um, I guess it has a fabric tie-in. I'm not. Sh I just don't know what's going on in that image. I guess. <laughs> Uh, super user with a dove. I mean, that's nice and simple. I'm assuming that this this is the sticker, um, and the rest of it's just background. Um, I'm not sure why super users are, are peaceful people. I guess maybe it's I don't know. Uh, have no idea why this guy's in jail. Um, I guess it's because he's using Excel and that's terrible. I guess I think a lot of people would disagree with that. Um, and it's got the the symbol there, so you know. Yeah. Okay, so so right. So let's take a look. So that's like the next like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven look all very similar kind of artwork style to me. Um the problem with it is that yeah, I think is that there's AI overtones that are pretty obvious in a lot of this. So for example, like this one right here comes to mind. So one one they're using the Microsoft logo. May the data bever in your four favor. Right. So that, I mean, that, that looks very like very definite AI generated text, um, which makes the whole sticker nonsensical, um, you know, but I guess this is Hunger Games, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. Uh, this and that makes me it's the same exact style as these, which make me think these are also AI generated. Right. This one has like some weird 33 TB something. I don't know what that is. Harness the power of the cosmos. Microsoft Fabric. So it, is this the sticker or is this the sticker? You know, is this supposed to be included in the sticker? If it if it's not, then it, then this would qualify, I think, by not using a trademark symbol. <sighs> anyway, and this one, you know, again, this one, it's like, I don't know what the sticker is. I could, I feel like this should be, you know, all in frame, but it goes out of the frame. Um, and then it's got this 3D here which I'm assuming that was part of the prompt, like to try to make the sticker look three-dimensional or 3D. Uh, and so the AI just is like, oh, I'll just put a 3D up in the corner. Uh, otherwise, I don't know what that means. Uh, so, I mean, so all of these, you know, they're I'm not a big cutesy person. Uh, brace yourself, data is coming. Again, it's using the Microsoft logo. Povower po 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 BI. I guess that's a new, new product that we have. Um, this one, you know, Revoto, Revotonize your data. I'm not sure that my, you know, trying to stab people with your data is a good idea. Um, this looks like a squid game kind of thing where it kind of blended like the guys that were with the masks, you know, versus the participants that had the numbers on them, but not all of them are numbers. I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, just, yeah, I mean, uh, Abracad, you know, so this is also Technolog. Um, okay, yeah, so, so this one's very similar. So I don't know if these guys were using the same program to create stuff. Dive deep into data dreams. Yeah, I don't know. Using some some kind of weird weird version of the Microsoft logo up there. Uh, and that then down below too. It repeated it down below. So okay, well anyway, I'm not voting for any of those. Um, there's just some. AI weirdness going on there. Not that AI is necessarily all bad. Data magic at your command. I kind of like this. You know, it's very similar to the other ones, um, but it's all in frame. There's nothing mis. Oh, data magic at you, your command. Whoops. Okay, never mind. Um, oh yeah, this is another one. Discover the the secrets of data. Ah, uh, master the art of data. See now, this one isn't bad. I could vote for that one. Master the art. Okay. It has the Microsoft weird Microsoft logo. I would definitely like not. So it's a, this again, it's, a, it's obviously AI generated. Um, but this one, is, if they if they cut it out here, I'm not sure with all the candles in that, but you know what? Technolog, I, I don't I don't mean to be bagging on your your stickers, man. I just the AI tie-ins like uh, it's you know it's tough, difficult sometimes uh, because they do some weird you know you get some weirdness going in there especially with text. Um, best thing to do probably would be to try to mask that out 
and then put in your own test text whenever it screws something up like that. Uh, conquer with data, conquer with data. Microsoft Fabrics using the logo, using the logo. All right, all right. Let's let's just move on here. Okay. Wow. Technolog submitted a ton. Is the whole page Technolog? No. Whole page is not Technolog. Uh, may the data be with you. Not bad, you know. But the whole cutesy stuff is not. Find your way. I O the data maze. Input output the data maze. I don't shaping the data multiverse power 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 BI Microsoft BI that that's not a thing. Um, uh, you know, I'm just gonna skip. I, I don't want to say anything too negative about all this stuff. This is not this is not my cup of tea. Uh, I see data. Um, okay, I mean I like it's kind of a simple design. Um, I'll vote for it, right? Super users. Okay, it's there's a lot going on. It's not very simple. I'm not sure what it's telling me. This one's another one where it's like there's a lot ton going on. Power five. I don't know, it looks AI to me, but I could be wrong. But again, yeah, my now this one has a lot going on. It, you know, if I had to guess, it's probably AI generated because it's three of the same image with just very minor details um, as far as the mouth. But the, the machine is definitely different between them. But they're so similar. I don't know why somebody would would create, go through the trouble to create three different images with just slight differences between them. That seems like a lot of work. Um, so, but I do like them. It, they're clean. I like I. I like his I like his chucks, the, the black and white chucks. I love that. But this one's good too. With I almost like this a little bit better. You know what? We're just gonna vote for both of these. Um, but you know, again, AI is not bad. And I don't know, BA, yeah, BAP can correct me if I'm wrong. And these are not AI generated. But it's not that AI is is necessarily bad. It's just it needs to be good AI, not bad AI. Um, Again, this one's probably AI generated Feb Bile of Febral Universe, Fabric of Intelligence, or Fabric of Fabric of it, Data Data Lake Data Lake Models Data Lakes. And it's a cool design, but there's just some some weirdness going on there. Uh, connecting the dots in data, Microsoft Fabrice. Yeah. Um, May the data be with you. That's really small. Trust the data, not your. You know, I wish they'd have made this a lot bigger. Um, they, it seems like they had the room to do it, um, or at least up the font size. Um, it's a good message, but. Okay, Microsoft Party Badge. Let's connect together Microsoft. I'm not sure what the tie-in to a fabric is there, but uh, yeah, we'll vote for it. This one's gorgeous design. I don't know if, I mean, this strikes me as AI generated, um, but maybe not. Um, they shouldn't have used the Microsoft logo. I think that actually disqualifies them from the challenge, but we, I like it. I mean, I'm going to vote for it. Um, now these, I like all of these. Um, these do not look AI generated. This looks like a very stylistic, all by the same person, like very stylistically similar. Um, they they have kind of the fabric tie-in with the green. They talking about data, star schema, no flow in life, and data flows, fantastic elastic fabric. Um, so I'm going to vote for all of these. I like I like all of this individual's designs. Those look those look actually hand created. Um, in some kind of illustration program. Why do programmers prefer dark mode? Because the light attracts bugs. I mean, it's a very nice design. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's AI generated or not, if they generated it and then put in that in that stuff, but it's a very nice sticker. Um, funny, right? Always, always be folding. At, now, this one has a lot of votes. Um, not my cup of tea for as a sticker, but I'm going to vote for it because I don't, you know, I don't want people to think I'm petty or anything like that. But, you know, it's kind of funny, I guess. Um, but sure, you know, <laughs> again, I'm not as much with the cutesy stickers um, as the other ones. 
So now these, I don't know when developers unite, possibilities ignite. Yeah, that's a good message. I like that message. Um, this, yeah, that's weird. Alone we code, together we create. That's another, it's a good message. Cutesy, a little cutesy for my taste, but I'm going to vote for it. Um, could be AI generated, but at least it's good AI generated. I, I don't see any problems with fingers and toes and weird spellings, possibilities ignite. Yeah, it's all spelled correctly. That's a weird way to hold a pencil. Um, oh, yeah, this has got some AI issues here. One, two, three fingers and a thumb. And then one, two, three, four, five fingers and no thumb. And that's a weird way to hold that pencil, right? Is this one, this one is, oh, they got that hand right. The one, two, three, four hand, four fingers and a thumb. Oop. One, two, three, four, five, five fingers and a thumb. So cool looking. Uh, obviously, I would say is AI generated um, just because of the fingers issues. Right, AI for whatever reason has a problem with that. Uh, lost in the data force. Now this could be AI generated. It could not be. Um, I like this. This tells a nice story. Um, so you know, it says lost in the data force, but you know, you could make your own interpretation of this that you're searching for, you know, treasure their data treasure things like that. Um, I don't know. I like this design. The only thing that you know might scream a little bit AI generated is like. They're wearing the binoculars and they're not holding them up to their hand, but that could also be a artistic choice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and vote for that. I I like this one. It's probably pretty clearly that it's AI generated, just in terms of the wires make no sense. There's a there's like a wire coming out of his shoe, um, but and oh oh yeah, and his his glasses are like that is not the right perspective for. His glasses being on versus where his eyebrows are. Um, but that's okay. We're going to vote for it anyway. Yeah, that's funny. Everything is under control. Uh, Fabru, Fabric, un the beauty and intelligence. Nice looking sticker. Obviously, AI generated some AI artifact issues, I would say. Uh, I like these. These, it's using the Fabric logo. That one's kind of weird. Um, just because I'm not sure Jedi's worn helmets or not, but the Data Wrangler, if I was to, yeah, he's got the fabric logo, but you know what? I like, anytime that somebody says, bite me, I mean, I'm for it. I like that one too. That's, that's looking, I don't know. That's not my, not, not something I would vote for. Um, nice story. Show me this. So I like that message. Um, I don't know why it's watermarked. Did they steal it from someplace? Did they forget to remove the watermark? Are they going to like, oh, if it gets chosen, then I don't want anybody stealing my design, so I'll watermark it. But it's weird that's watermarked. Um, anyway, Data Ninja for the win. I like it. This is pretty. Um, there's a lot going on. I'm not sure of the fabric tie-in. I don't know why it has a dollar sign. Like dot dot data is the new currency or something, but it is pretty, so we're gonna vote for it. Never argue with the data. I agree. Don't argue with the data. Super users. I ah, see it's trademarked, right? Pretty sure that's gonna get it disqualified. Um, otherwise, it is. I mean, it's a nice design, uh, and I'm not quite sure what it's telling me though. Um, I have. I don't know what that one's telling me either. It's very very complex. Microsoft superheroes. Microsoft, so no, but they're using the, I don't know if that's considered trademarked or not, but it looks nice. I'm assuming this one's probably under super user category. That's, I have no idea about that one. Um, I am debugging my life. I feel that way sometimes, let me tell you. Uh, I don't know what this one's telling me. I don't know the tie-in to fabric. This is highly trademarked. Um, so... Don't know if I can really vote for that one. Um, Animal Kingdom. See, this one screams AI generated to me. I'm not quite. It's like they're on a piece of wood, sitting on wood, on a piece of wood. There's some weirdness with that guy's stool. I don't know what that deer is holding, but it looks like a bear head, um, or like a nubbin. Uh, I just don't know what's going on in that one. I have no idea why that's fabric related. Trademark, trademark, trademark. Uh, 
Ren or was it Stimpy? It's Ren, I think. Droopy, and I can't remember his name. Uh, one chart to to Rolg, Rolg, Het All. Close. Uh, compose your data masterpiece. Compose your. It almost says OATA masterpiece. Microsoft Fabric. I mean, I think AI generated definitely. Uh, oh yeah, well. Mission data possible, so mission impossible, but I don't know why he's holding an owl. And then the Microsoft logo, data rules the earth. I like the Trinosaurus. I like dinosaurs. They're using the Microsoft logo. It's uh, Microsoft Fabry. Uh, close. Uh, dive into data drifts. Nope. That's a miss. Mid is, mid is fabric or Power BI. Neptune called. He wants his data back. That's a that's a nice looking. I like this. This is a nice looking design. The problem that with this one, I think, is that I don't know what it, it's telling me. Um, I guess you could interpret these as charts and data, but I think the sticker to be. I mean, for me, for a sticker, it needs to it needs to convey something. It just needs. It can't be just a pretty design or something. It, it really should convey some type of meaning, I guess. Um, that is not how you spell unraveling. Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, that's a cool design and everything, but I just, without the description, like this doesn't say data to me. Um, data spells for every solution, data spells for every solution. I mean, again, I mean, I'm going to vote for this one because I feel like I've been criticizing Technologues entries too much. Um, and I, I do, that one has none of the AI wonkiness, um, of some of the other designs. I don't know what this one is saying to me. I like this one. There's that 3D again, which we're just going to overlook because at least, you know, the sticker is all within frame and we don't have any weirdness here. Uh, we just have that weird artifact from the prompt, the 3D. So, but I like that one today. Welcome to Data Matrix. Master of Data Dimensions, Microsoft Fabric, Dowra Dow Fabric. I can't, can't do, can't do it. Unleash the Data Beast. Uh, multitasking like an octopus. Like, unleash the. I mean, you know, that's cool. I, I'll vote for that one. Data magic in every query. Query. No, can't do it. Part of your data world. I mean, that's pretty. Power BI. Eh, that weird Power BI with the Microsoft logo down. That, that's just. And then the Microsoft logo at the top, I guess. What is that over there? Do you are under the cloud? Didn't didn't more? I don't know what that is. Pretty and close. Um, built to Excel. Again, I don't think that you that would be caused to disqualify it as far as trademark. Um, and I like it. It's kind of cool. I'm going to vote for that one. Uh, Tangled in data. I've got your I've got your covered. Data is the spice. They got the Microsoft logo. Kind of got the Dune tie in there. I do kind of like that one, but it, the Microsoft, it's just obviously the AI with the Microsoft. Search and destroy. There, there's too many words. Uh, is data really the new oil? I have no idea. Uh, Fabricorn. Say, so I already voted for this one. Um, this one's just cute. Uh, I think I could be wrong. It could be AI generated, but that looks like an artistic touch to me. It all seems tied together. Um, I like it. So I voted for it. Kindness costs nothing. That is true. And we're going to be kind and we're going to vote for that. Now, I've covered this one. Um, obviously, AI generated. Um, there's some, let's just say there's some suspicious voting patterns. And we'll just leave it at that. World is one big data problem. You know, it's a picture of the world, black. On, on out in space, but the the spacing of the words just isn't right. Um, didn't we see that one before earlier, or am I just power fife? It's like I thought we came across this one earlier, and it was just too complex. But maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. But I thought I'd see. I thought we already like talked about this one. Uh, super users, very cutesy, wishing health to all super users. I guess that's explains the vegetables. Um, 
and see that one seems like i've seen that one too um so i don't know what's going on there but it's like maybe there were some double submissions which seems weird oh that one's kind of cool but it's yeah. sue up for users <sighs> cool design otherwise um but i guess probably ai generative or I, I can't imagine making that mistake as a designer um i have no idea what this trash can is trying to tell me um data is the new currency there's a lot going on here now this is a clean design this I, I already voted for this so this one super users right and i like everything about this design um it's all very well tied together it's all shiny and sparkly um which is a really cool effect and i haven't that really we haven't seen so far so yeah i already voted for this one um because this is a very clean design that looks to me not ai generated definitely has an artistic hand uh, or element to it so i like that one happy power bi bumblebee ready to consume the fabric super drink more like the kool-aid um but that's okay uh you are awesome thank you for your support support means everything nice message uh i have no idea what the, it has to do with fabric um this looks cool um microsoft fabricator i'm not sure I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for it. Um, evaluating. Now that's funny. Uh, and uh, <laughs> data and see all the trademark logos, right? Female fabricators. Okay, well, that's kind of seems exclusive. Um, I think there's male fabricators as well, um, and they're using the logo. This is my entry, right? So, you know, and now in looking at all these entries, and like, hey, you know, I first post on like this garbage design. Um, but, you know, in terms of like my criteria for uh, evaluating stickers, it's not half bad. Um, it has the fabric tie in, obviously, to Power BI totals is the inside joke, you know, that the the teal color kind of ties it into fabric, right? It's simple and it's something you can take a look at and immediately understand the, the, the point that's being made. So, I mean, it's not half bad as far as, you know, the criteria in that goes. Say cookies. At, Okay, uh, corgis. So this person obviously likes corgis. Like the, this kind of reminds me of uh, oh, the data dog, um, in uh, Cowboy Bebop, right? Data detective. So these are all the same individual. Probably like this one the best. I would say. So we're gonna vote for that one. One tool to rule them all, cool design. Um, I don't know what this, that this says fabric to me. Um, it is overall very cool. Um, we'll just go ahead and give it a vote. Um, error 404 coffee, 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 AI, can't spell. Um, BI Avenger. Uh, again, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, there's no more tech technologue. Um, they're all very cutesy stuff, which is not my cup of tea. Looking, I can export my stash to Excel. I don't see a lot of the AI artifacts except the 3D build in Excel. I think that's probably an artifact. Excel like a panda. I have no idea what that means. I don't know if that pencil is supposed to be part of the sticker or or not. But that sticker doesn't quite fit into the frame, so you'd almost have to. Export it to Excel, hop to it. Excel, fantastic. Buzz to Buzz I to Excel. Never forget to export to Excel. Okay. Uh, also Technolog. Now this though, this design, I I rather like this design. Um, it's dance off, da data dance off in your graphs bust a move. I don't know about that interpretation. I would interpret this a much different way. That you know. The artistic or the elegance in data, that sort of stuff. So I'm going to vote for that one. I like that one. Uh, you need a date table. So that also that looks like that could be very well could be AI generated, um, but it's done very well and I like it. So I'm going to vote for it. Fabric got the power BI. Um, that looks so again. This has an artistic flair to it um kind of very retro so rich i'm gonna vote for that one this one's cool he, he can you know the super user that we saw before 
uh, has much of the same elements. Um, did not do any, followed the rules, didn't use the Superman logo. So, oh, I'd already voted for that one. <laughs> Sorry, Rich Florida. I didn't mean to take away your votes. They're back now. Uh, let's see here. Data Whisperer. There's a lot going on in that one. Export it. To, can you export it to Excel? I already voted for that one. Um, the only thing that gives me pause as far as well, could this be AI generated? I don't understand this, this element right here. Uh, but it's not enough to like discount it. It's a, it's a nice clean design. And even though it's got quite a few words, it's very easy to understand. Tech together. I don't get that one. Code and dream. That's a very gorgeous looking image. I like that. I swear it work it. Okay. I would say AI generated the can't spell. Cash me if you can. There's a lot going on in that image, and I don't know what it's telling me. Why do programmers prefer dark mode? Because light attracts buds. Oh, that's so somebody this was posted a lot earlier than the other one. We'll vote for that one. Nice design. I don't know what it's saying. I guess it's super user. When in doubt, Power BI it out. You know, I don't mind that design. It looks kind of retro. All right, we're up to page eight, I think. Everyday work with models, I mean, mo work with modes, I mean, data models. I don't get that joke. Uh, I think I have relationship issues, but only in Power BI. Funny. Um, although, yeah, what is, I don't know what that is, but we're not, it's still funny. So trust me, I'm a Power BI developer. This looks very much like somebody took some time and effort to design that. Avoid the any obvious trademark infringements so no no more fear power bi power bi's is here oh tareem so close so this one i guess this one also probably is ai generated because this one i would say is because of the spelling problems here uh bug hero kind of cool looking i don't mind it reg x wizard yeah, I'd rather vote. I, that one's better than that one, in my opinion. Uh, database Dominator. I'm not sure why they have a bunch of eight tracks. Why the crown is up there and not on his head. Um, I do like this data ninja. I love Light Meowed. Close. Uh, super Data Guru finding inner peace. Again, this one has suffers from the problem of I. This doesn't speak much data to me or fabric or anything else. Oh, uh, it's Technolog, and your other ballerina was better, I think. Pretty sure that is trademarked. It's pretty. Um, again, I'm not sure what the tie-in to Fabric, and and that is. It's If he, if the title has to describe and, and inform the tie-in, I think that's not the greatest sticker design. We're not your grand, ma, grand fabric stoke. This dead, dead, dead decided to... F okay. Obviously, AI generated, not your fabric still store. AI, Microsoft Fab Hick, AI works on my machine. Don't see any obvious problems with that one. Funny. Font style italic, you know, funny. Um, I don't know what the tie in to fabric is, but, you know, we're going to vote for it anyway because that's funny. Uh, zero bytes given. I agree. To be or not to be, that's kind of cool. That I'm sure Nike would be upset about. <laughs> Data and AI hero with the Microsoft logo. Uh, I swear it worked in Yem Yemmer Day. Yemmer Day? That's, I would say that's AI. I speak in data. Kind of a simplistic sticker. We're going to vote for it. Um, I'm a data science, I'm a data analyst, I'm a data science, I'm a data analyst. Data planets, see again, I don't see the tie into fabric and and all of that. Microsoft Fabric vibes with Amelie robot optic. Is that a is that a thing? Is that like a character that I don't know about, or did they just name it? Like they created it and then they just named that character that. Amelie robot uh, rocking it with now working big data, big data. Why are their, their tentacles got lopped off? 
All right. So let's, I mean, if I'm going to vote for one of these, I would think this one probably, you know, is the best out of them all. I do like this data, nin the data cat, the ninja cat, super user dollar sign. I'm not making any money being a super user. You can tell me, you can be damn sure of that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the dollar sign is in there. The, what is going on? It's, it's all women, so it's exclusionary. Um, but it's inclusionary of women with one eye. So there's that lady has one eye, and that lady has no eyes. That one has one eye. That one has one eye. I don't know what this one's telling me here, but there, there's more to the fabric community than just women. There's there's actually men in the fabric community as well. Um, so I'm not sure that passes the inclusivity check. Uh, peak performance. Great. Uh, fabric community rocks. I agree. That's kind of a fun design there. I don't know what all... There's an incandescent bulb with more... Like those remind me of like the Christmas lights, the, the old school incandescent Christmas lights. Uh, show me the data. I like that one. This one has a lot of votes, but I don't get it. Um, syntax error, ca caffeine required. None of that says anything. I don't know what, is he stabbing himself in the head? Like, I don't know what's going on. Why are the robots coming out of his head? I don't know. Um, I don't get that sticker. Dream big, dig bigger. There's cacti in there, and there's there's a lot going on, and I don't understand it. Uh, data is awesome. I like the, kind of the old school feel of that. Hash map, the hero we need, not the one we deserve. I don't know what that means. Need more RAM. I why is she in a why is she in a recycling bin? The laptop and why are her tears turned to like bloop? It's kind of disturbing. Merge conflict survivor. That's kind of funny. Um, we'll vote for that one to make up for our, our criticism of that one. This is cool. I don't know about there's an obvious cut and paste that was done. So I'm guessing that this was AI generated and then they they tried to like that looks like an obvious, like, cut and pasted it. I don't know. Uh, what is this? There's, this is funny. Uh, there's a lot of words. I don't know how that would translate to a sticker. Um, Miss Fab, four, okay, these are all by the same person. If I was to pick one of these, a lot going on. I don't, I don't know what this is telling me. I don't know what this is telling me. This is kind of okay. We'll vote for that one. Data Viz, data viz wizard data viz wizard okay all right i get that all right i don't know what that's telling me okay this is all technologue i don't know what that's telling me i don't know i don't know i don't know don't know don't know uh super users kind of a retro looking design i kind of like that this one also i think <sighs> kind of the the weird U is kind of suspicious, but it, I like I like it. That U is weird, but eat sleep code repeat. I like that. I don't know why that spacing is right there. That's really kind of bugging me. When when in doubt, hash, yeah. sure. I think that one's kind of a simple design, but we're gonna go on to the next one. That looks gross. Like I'm like I think that would work if you were feeding the the monster ones and zeros versus like some bloody guts. Uh, nine little bugs on all. Uh, take one down, patch it around. 127 little bugs. That's absolutely true. Um, but uh, I get that joke. We're gonna go ahead and vote for it. I I think that this would not print very well on a two by two. It'd be very hard, very hard to read. I don't know what that's telling me. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything, but it's a capybara, so we're voting for it. Uh, Fabric Community Sticker Design Challenge. That's the title of it. There's a little heart on that guy. I mean, it's kind of a cool sticker, um, but I don't know what it has to do with fabric or... Tonso, hello world, print line, hello from hello world. I don't know what that's saying. Wait, okay, here's a different style from Technolog. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, I kind of like it, um, honestly. I like it better than this one. Kind of like the stylist, stylistic elements. You know, the, the problem is, uh, you know, it's probably AI generated, but I don't know what the story, I don't know what the story is. Like, I like the design. I don't know. It's not telling me necessarily a story of what's going on, or I'm not understanding it immediately. So the same with this. I mean, I don't know why sometimes he has a mustache, sometimes he has a beard. I don't know what the story is. I don't know what's telling me. Uh, this one, I mean, that's clean, right? It's kind of cool. I think there's some fabric tie-in. I like it better than this one. Um, I'm going to vote for that one. Ah, uh, so close. Supper, supper user. Even though they know how to spell super, and but it's supper user, so I'm going to guess that this was AI. I have no idea why the 5G is there. I had the Power BI report, feel cozy. There's, that's not my cup of tea. Software Slicer, software engineer. Close. I help humans grow to grow with data. Too much going on. Kind of cool. Well, let's say that's just shock me. If I was going to vote on these, I would say this one is my favorite. Uh, I speak fluent SQL. Okay. Got fabric. Even our joins are seamless. I like the kind of retro aspect of that. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. All right. Control Alt Control Ash Lin. Control R Alt for the win. Is that what it's? I think that's AI. Some AI craziness. Uh, okay. I speak SQL. Select energy from coffee where Monday equals true. I'll vote for that. Let's see. Data detective. Now, here's some, some books. Bunch of, again. So, first, wow, the first one, two, three, four, five, six entries were all technologue. All different styles versus later on, it seemed like there's that master metrics again. That seemed like a repost. I do like this one. Um, I like that one. That was cool. But, you know, even though more than likely, right, because there were some obvious ones that were AI generated, but I think that takes us to the end of the sticker design channel. Again, like I said, I'm super way too invested in this now, um, but too bad. Um, so there you have it. Those are my picks for the stickers that I liked. Um, hopefully, you know, you'll go through them as well and pick out the stickers that you like. Um, make comments if I if I if I insulted your sticker. I'm sorry. Uh, it was not my intention to to criticize overly criticize stickers. I just have my criteria for the stickers that I like. Um, and you know, I think I voted. I think hopefully everyone, you know haven't upset anybody by going through these stickers again i just i wanted to go through all these stickers and i wanted to make sure that i voted for the ones that i really liked um give people credit uh, or credits due in terms of some of the some of the great designs i think everybody deserved credit um for whether it was ai generated images or not you know taking the time and effort to go out and submit entries to the sticker design challenge i think is awesome i think that i really like that the you know the community we haven't had a lot of these kind of events going on in the community so really appreciate the administrators of the you know, the community site um you know from taking the time to set up this um event um and you know they're gonna they're gonna have to go through it's like you know 12 pages of you know there's probably 20 stickers on a page right one two three four one two three four five yep so 20 stickers on a page so that's over 200 that's like 200 almost 240 stickers so good luck with that. Uh, there, the voting is still open um, all the way to the 23rd. The the entries closed yesterday. Um, this is Saturday I'm, that I'm making this video. I'll probably post this tomorrow. Um, but that's I'm rambling at this point. So that's all I have in this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.